Hey guys, Arkane here. Just wanted to do a little tutorial slash spinner guide uh, for people coming to the game for the first time or people that are just coming back after a very, very long time. Show you where everything is, how to do uh, the basic things in Dremel the Breakers just so you're ready to go ahead and uh, kick some ass. So this is the hub area of Dragon Ball the Breakers. Um, you just do a quick little spin. That's the news board. Uh, that's where you summon. That's the training area, the shop, uh, the customization uh, for your character and uh, just like a little tip. So we're gonna go uh, to each station and kind of like talk about it one by one, uh, starting off with the mailbox. So when you see these little exclamation points above either robot, it means you can interact with them in some way or there's something new to do at the robot, right? Hi. So uh, at this robot, um, this is where you're gonna be picking up the free rewards. Uh, I already kind of redeemed everything, so make sure to be checking this when you see an exclamation point because you could be getting free tickets, free Zenny, free Spirit, just things for you to like play around with for free, or they're letting you know about a new update or like maintenance or anything like that. Here at the Orange Code Robo, this is where you actually can exchange your friend link code. If you guys want to do it on this tutorial account, by all means, you could share it. But uh, if you guys find your friend code and you haven't shared it with anybody yet, uh, leave it in the comment section of this video or join my Discord. I have a section where you can actually change friendly codes. Just make sure what you do in the comments or in the Discord to let uh, people know which platform you're on because, you know, the game is going to be crossplay, but it's not yet. So uh, as you guys exchange friend codes, while you guys play games, you'll each receive rewards for playing matches. Uh, here, there is an, uh, oh, this is where you actually put in someone else's friendly code if you want to do that. Here is the item input code. So uh, the last one they did recently was coming soon. Uh, all caps, typically it's all caps. Um, that unfortunately expired. I know some of you are gonna try it. It's gonna say it's expired. But whenever they do them, I'm gonna have it uploaded as a short, but typically they post them on Twitter or X, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, you put in that item code and you'll get some free stuff. Uh, last thing you can do with the code Robo is linking your Bandai Namco ID. Doing this uh, nets you like a free emote and uh, it also gives you the opportunity to link your game to Xenoverse 2. So if you have Xenoverse 2, for example, on PlayStation and you have Breakers on PlayStation, you can actually get rewards for both games for completing matches and doing challenges, right? However, it does not work, say, if you have Breakers on Switch and Xenoverse 2 on PlayStation. It doesn't work that way. So you have to have the games on the same platform. So, uh, you know, talking about that some more, if you do link your Bandai account, Oop, I'm actually getting the cutscene because it's the first time I'm doing it. So Ulan will be talking about Kanton City. And after you link your account, you can actually pull up the challenges and uh, see how to complete them. I'll show you that when I go on my main account. I can't see it here because I didn't link my account since this is a uh, you know, tutorial account. So over here is the news board. Here a little talk about any updates coming. I mean, obviously, next thing coming up is Season 4. I'm uploading this before Season 4, so by the time you're about to watch this, Season 4 could be out. So here they're going to be talking about when events are here, when boosts are here for experience, Zenny and Spirit, uh, when banners are coming, when banners are leaving, things of that nature. Also, I think they also talk about the uh, Xenoverse 2 linkage bonus. So if you guys do that thing um, I was just talking about, if you complete the challenges, you can get up to uh, 30 TP tokens, 6 tickets, uh, 15,000 uh, Zenny and 1,000 Spirit, and that resets every 15 days. If you're curious about doing that, I have a guide on that on the channel. It's going to be a clickable thing or in the link in the description below, so make sure to check that out if you want to see the fastest way to complete that. Now, uh, this robo is actually fairly new. Uh, it is the event robo. Unfortunately, this event is actually over, so if you didn't finish it, uh, make sure to actually collect your rewards at the robo. But uh, if there is an event going on, you can check uh, your progress here. Uh, next to the event robo is the spirit siphon. This is where you guys summon. So here you have three separate things uh, to summon with. You have Zenny. Uh, keep in mind, Zenny is actually an uh, indefinite um, resource that you can farm by playing matches. So you can just grind to your heart's content and uh, get shafted to your heart's content as well. Uh, tickets are a little more finite. Uh, you can get this by completing the dragons here. Sometimes they'll get this out for free. Uh, and here you have the premium resource like your Chrono Crystal or your Dragonstone, whatever you're familiar with. Uh, this is what you can also use to summon as well but if you're a free-to-play player uh, primarily you'll be using your zenny and your tickets and if you want to look um, through the different banners you can look here if you want to see how many tickets you have you can hit uh, the touchpad and you can check that out when stuff is expiring as well and if you ever wanted to look at the rates you can hit l2 and you can hit the triggers to see what's on um, the banners and whatnot 
So over here is the training uh, station. You can uh, unlock super attacks here and upgrade active skills and passive skills. So I'm going to come back to active, uh, active skills and passive skills to get a little confusing on how to actually equip those and why you can and cannot equip certain skills. But super attacks are a little more simple. Uh, once you accumulate enough spirit, you can actually purchase super attacks. Unfortunately, I'm kind of broke when it comes to spirit right now, so I can't purchase any of these super attacks. But uh, what's nice about this game is that there actually is a form of a pity system for super attacks. Not active skills and passive skills, but for super attacks. So say I just pulled cell, right? And I want to unlock perfect Kamehameha. If I accumulate 25,000 spirit, I can go well uh, ahead and unlock it. So that's a pretty cool system that they have in place. Um, also, here is where you uh, upgrade active and passive skills. Um, skills are actually tied to characters. So for example, uh, this skill, uh, the single wheel motorbike, is tied to Bulma's survivor skin. So the only way to actually use this skill is if you have her equip. Otherwise, what you would need to do is like what I did for this one skill and master it. Once you master a skill, you don't have to use either the survivor skin or the transfer attached to that skill. If that's confusing, I'll come back to it. Don't worry about it. All right, next we're going to talk about the shop. So the shop has a bunch of customization options for your survivor. You can buy shirts, you can buy pants, you can buy shoes, you can buy emos, you can buy intros, you can buy outros. There's a load, a load of things to buy in the shop. It's actually a, a pretty big variety, which is very cool. I think uh, this one's probably my favorite, favorite the Terra Store, kind of just dropping you off like that. But uh, this is also where you purchase Raiders. On this account, I have not purchased anything. So uh, unfortunately, um, for Raiders, the new Raiders in the game, besides Boo, Cell, and Frieza, you'll actually have to purchase with the premium currency, which is TP tokens. At the start of the season, so by the time you're either watching this video or in a couple of days, uh, when Broly drops with Chi Lai and Lemo, you can actually buy a pack. And typically those cost around 1,000 to 200, 1,300. I'll have a video on that when they release, so don't worry about that. Uh, but individually, everything costs 550 TV, uh, TP tokens. So if you want to buy the Raider on their own, it's 550. If you want to buy survivor skins on their own, it's 550. So if you think you're going to buy one Raider and a survivor, I would just say buy the pack. But if you're just going to get the Raider or if you just want a survivor skin, go for it buying it individual. But my recommendation is buying the pack. Also, um, if you don't have too, too many, um, you know, uh, currency to spend on the Spirit Siphon, which depending on when you're watching this, you probably should because it's anniversary. They're giving us free stuff like crazy. Um, you can actually buy devices in the store. So these uh, you can equip and they're not tied to any characters. You just purchase these and you can equip them to your heart's content. Um, the good ones on here are zipline device. Power charger is good if you're a newer player. Trap device is fairly good. The other ones are kind of garbo in my opinion. Uh, down here we have TP tokens. So if you want to spend Nash money, uh, you can go here and buy the TP tokens uh, to purchase Raiders, Survivor skins, or to do uh, those multis, right? Now over here, is where you'll be able to customize your character. I will warn you though, if you want to switch to a male, uh, you will lose everything that you customize with on your female and vice versa. So if you are going to switch genders, uh, by all means, you can do that. But just keep in mind, you are going to lose your progress with, with whatever um, gender you end up switching or swapping to, right? Whatever, whatever typing you swap with, right? Um, over here is the manual. Now I know we're Dragon Ball fans and we don't like the read, but if you want to, here it is. It talks about everything that you would like to know about Dragon Ball The Breakers. I have videos talking about um, combat. I have a combat tutorial. It's very in-depth. Uh, so if you guys want to watch that, um, it's either clickable on the screen right now or it's in the link in the description below. I have uh, something talking about the gauge. The gauge is kind of fairly new that they implemented. I have a guide on that as well. And I have a guide on the best uh, active and passive skills to equip and how to use them as well. So link in the description for those more in-depth guides. This is a very very basic guy just kind of showing you where everything is and how to do stuff so with that being said that is pretty much the hub at this point i'm going to show you guys um actually how to make a build so to make a build you're going to hit the options button and go into battle settings so the uh options that you have are survivor uh dragon change level one two three active skills uh, or just skills and you have a survivor kits so for a survivor, this is where you can choose to either play as your avatar or the various survivor skins in the game. 
Dragon Chains level one, two, and three are basically the levels that you have equipped when you're in your match. So if you want Goku for your level one, you can go ahead and pick Goku. Uh, if you want uh, Piccolo for your level two, this is just what they automatically set you with here. Um, actually, I think they put Krillin as your level one. I think I changed it. But if you do want to change it back to Krillin, you will click on level one Dragon Change, click on Goku. And if you want to pick the homie Krillin, there we go. Uh, you can go ahead and equip them there. Uh, forms is what you can change when you unlock forms. So uh, right now I only have the Super Saiyan form, but if I wanted to do base go on, I would select that here. And if I wanted to do Great Saiyan Man, I could do that here, but unfortunately I didn't lock any other forms with the character. Uh, you can also change the skins here. Let me see if I can find an example for you guys. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so if you want to change like the Gi for Goku and other characters, you can do that there. Here is where you change the super attacks. I don't uh, really have too many variations at this moment, I imagine. Here you go for Piccolo. So if you want to change uh, your super attacks, I will have a video talking about the best super attacks to put you in good shape. Oh, Colin, thank you for subbing to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Uh, you made history there. So if you want to know the best super attacks, I will have a video on that. Description below, It'll be clickable on the screen, so don't worry about that. And here is active and passive skills. This is where things get a little bit tricky. So um, Time Patroller's duty, for example, is tied to Teen Trunks. So uh, the reason I can equip this and I don't have Trunks equipped is because I have it mastered or AKA having it upgraded to plus 10. So if I say, uh, for example, let's find another skill that's tied uh, to a character. So say I uh, turn mentally insane and I want to use the really, really terrible active skill Scouter I, I'm not joking. It's really bad. I'm using this for educa educational purposes only. Uh, if I want to use Scouter, I would have to equip Bardock because if I go over to Bardock, you can see that the active skill is actually tied to this character. So um, if I remove him, uh, you can see just a, you know, actually I didn't equip it. So here I'm equipping um, Scouter on the right D-pad. And if I remove Bardock and say if I put on Team Gohan, it will give me a notice saying that the skill will be removed now luckily this is my educational account so i will not mind uh maxing out scouter or mastering it here and this will allow me to equip it so if you upgrade the skill 10 times in total <coughs> excuse me as you can see i now master the skill it says now that the skill is mastered you can use it even with a different transfer or skin so now if I want to use Scouter, I don't have to have Bardock equipped and I can just equip it as you can see here. So just to show you, I'm going to equip Bardock. Scouter is on. I'm going to unequip Bardock, put on the GOAT TN, and I still have Scouter equipped. This also works for survivor skin skills. So say I want to use uh, one of Bulma's skills, right? Because Bulma actually has a very good stun in the game, I'm going to take off this uh, dog doo doo skill, which is Scouter, put on Charming Pose. Uh, this is very good. But if I don't want to use Bulma and I want to use the homie Oolong, you'll see that the form, uh, following skills will be removed. So if I want to use Charming Pose and flex with Oolong, I'll have to go into skills, go to actives, and then max out Charming Pose. And this will allow me uh, to use it when any character. I was just able to master this, so I'm out of spirit. So now I won't be able to master any skills. This works exactly the same with passives, by the way. I'm out of spirit, so I can't show you guys again, but it works the same way for passive and active skills. You have to master them. Otherwise, you'll have to equip the character. So now I can go ahead and equip Charming Pose, even though it belongs to Bulma, and I can use Oolong instead. Uh, also, if you guys want to make customizable loadouts, say I have this loadout and I like it a lot, um, you know, just equip a super that. Also, guys, make sure, because I know some of you uh, might not notice, if you choose a transfer, make sure they have a super attack. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be very awkward in battle. Like, see, for example, I don't have a super attack on Trunks. <coughs> That's actually why I mastered his passive. So we look at him. He has Time Patroller's Duty. So since using Trunks wouldn't be smart because he doesn't have a super attack, I went ahead and mastered his pass ability so I can use it without having equipped. So uh, again, uh, Tien, he has a super attack. You can see by the little um, square that's in gold. It 
to your trunks. A lot of the super attacks are in gold. So if you go to the super attack, just make sure that you equip it because they do not do it automatically for you. Go over to full power energy wave or whatever super attack is available and equip your super attack so you're ready to fight back against the raider. Uh, last but not least, I just wanted to show you guys um, kits and like how to make loadouts. So say I really, really like this build. I can go over here to survivor kit one, hit overwrite. And here we go. If I ever want to uh, use this kit, it's here and ready to go. And if you hit load, like say if I change this kit and they put cell on it instead, I can go here, overwrite, and I'll just name this bruh. So here I have my bra kit. If I want to go back to survivor kit one, I'll hit load and I'll have Goku out as my level three. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything off of the tutorial. I lied. The last thing I'm going to talk about is actually how to um, play the game. So if you hit the square button, wherever button it displays in the bottom right of the screen, you have three options. So you have online match. This will take you to actually playing the game. You will have Raider Q in the right. Uh, by the time season four drops, this uh, selection will be uh, available. This will allow you to actually queue specifically as the Raider. Pretty self-explanatory. Raider Q allows you to queue up as the Raider. Flex Q allows you to gain priority. You will be playing as Survivor, but once your priority goes up and up, you'll have a more likely chance to actually become Raider and Q times will more likely be faster than Raider Q will be. Here on Survivor Q, very self-explanatory. It allows you to queue up as a Survivor and you'll actually get a bonus uh, for rewards here. So you'll get like 20 to 30% uh, for rewards as opposed to doing Raider Q or Flex Q. Next up here we have episodes. This is basically this game's form of a story mode. You guys probably already played the prologue or skipped it, you cheeky bastard. If you skipped it, you know what you did. You know what you did. But you can do episode two, which is Vegeta. Episode three, which is Ginyu. And I imagine episode four will be Broly. Uh, I can't check it out now because it's not out yet. And the practice mode is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's custom. So if you want to play Raider of Friends, you can do that here. Or if you just want to test things out against the Raider, you can do that here as well. Um, also, before I forget, here is character visual. This is where you can customize your player's drip. Uh, fortunately, I am dripless because this is a educational account. I have nothing on this account. I just want to show you guys where everything is. And then the next option here is Raider characters. Here you can customize voice lines and equip them if you have any. Um, let's see if I can equip one. Yeah, I can equip <laughs> again. There it is. And if you want to look at the kit, you can hit the triangle button or whatever the uh, activation button is on your platform. And then uh, you can also choose which Raider you want to have as your preset. So when you're actually queuing up, they will automatically uh, be chosen. So if I choose uh, Frieza, I hit the options button on PlayStation. And that means when I queue up as Raider, Frieza will show up uh, in the selection screen first. Uh, also, just forgot as well, if you uh, select the Raider, as you level them up, this is where you can upgrade passive and active skills on your Raiders. I have guides for this, so it'll be a clickable thing on the screen or in the link in the description below. Uh, so you guys know what uh, things to upgrade there. And last but not least, this is the Dragon tier. This gains form of a battle pass. As you complete weeklies and dailies, you will progress this and get uh, spirit, tickets, TP, emotes, everything. Everything you could want will be in here. Uh, and at tier 50, you actually unlock the survivor skin as well and with that being said uh guys i believe that is it so if you guys have any questions regarding anything um let me know in the comments below try to make this video as fast as possible but it's almost 20 minutes already uh in terms of actually playing the game i have a definitive combat guide uh, make sure to check that out i have a guide uh, about the best super attacks that will have you prepared for season four i have so many uh showcases on the channel so if you want to see how things look and work definitely check those out again let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about anything uh let me know in the comments below like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the rk for more drive all directors content catch y'all in the next one take care stay safe have fun peace out